Hi, this is Lisa from Nikkei Rising's All Things J8. With the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics wrapping up this summer, I thought it would be nice to take a moment to learn about and honor a Japanese-American community leader named Fred Isamu Wada, who is now remembered as the man who brought the 1964 Olympics to Tokyo. Fred Isamu Wada was born in 1907 in Bellingham, Washington, to parents from Wakayama, Japan. When he was just four years old, he was sent on a boat to Wakayama to go live with his grandparents due to poor living conditions. But by the time he turned nine, he moved back to the States to attend school and work hard on a farm in Seattle, Washington. With all of his hard work, he was able to open a successful produce market in Oakland, California when he was 20, and soon after married his wife, Masako. His wife was from Utah, and when there was word of incarceration of Japanese and Japanese Americans during World War II, she suggested that they go there, where Japanese American farmers were wanted for work. With Wada's reputation in Oakland, he was able to lease some 3,500 acres of land and its abandoned buildings from George Fisher, the mayor of Keatley, Utah. Wada then recruited other Nikkei colonists, and they all moved over to Keatley just days before the end of the voluntary relocation phase. They worked hard on the farms and endured the cold winters with their motto, Food for Freedom. Working hard to sustain themselves and help feed other local communities was their way of showing patriotism to America during these times. After the war, Wada moved to Los Angeles, where he once again owned a successful produce business. And in 1949, Los Angeles hosted the USA Swimming National Championships, and six men from the Tokyo Swim Club in Japan came to compete. But unfortunately, the hotels in the area refused to let them stay due to the lingering segregation and discrimination post-World War II. So when Wada and his wife read in the paper that they were looking for a place to stay, they decided to open their doors and welcome them. The athletes were full of energy from the Wada's kindness and delicious food, and they were able to give it their all at the championships, where they broke records and won multiple medals. And this was very uplifting news for Japan, still greatly impacted by the war. Wada was then requested by leaders like the Japanese Prime Minister and the Governor of Tokyo to help bring the 1964 Olympics to Tokyo. He happily accepted in hopes to continue to help uplift Japan and spent over a month traveling with his wife to help spread the word and gain support for Japan to host the Olympics. Through his efforts, Japan was able to win the vote from the International Olympic Committee. I think it's important to contextualize that Japan was planning to host the 1940 Olympics before the war broke out and it had to be cancelled. For Japan, holding the Olympics in 1964 was a symbolic moment to show the world that they have recovered from the devastating loss in the war. It was also a major encouragement for Japan to develop and advance as a nation. Maybe you can see some parallels with Japan hosting this year as they recover from the 2011 Tohoku disaster and face the COVID-19 pandemic. You might recognize Japan now as a peaceful, modern, and technologically advanced country, but much of these characteristics were developed rapidly after the war with encouragement to prepare for the Olympics. Wada's work as a community leader didn't stop there. He continued to support the Olympics when Los Angeles hosted it in 1984, and as he retires from his produce business, he becomes the chairman of Japanese Health Enterprises and establishes Kato, a nursing home for the Issei at the time, alongside seven other community leaders such as George Aratani. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you were able to learn and appreciate Fred Isamuada's deep care about his community throughout his life, as well as his impact on Japan's recovery from war by helping bring the 1964 Olympics to Tokyo.